Thank you. All right. Uh, the American people may finally get some answers that we've been asking for regarding the 2012 attack on Benghazi. The murder of four fellow Americans and an attack on a facility that is emblematic of our country should transcend politics. And I know that our fellow citizens can handle the truth, but only if they get access to it. That's the key the access. South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy, a Republican promising justice for the four dead Americans killed in Benghazi, as he is officially appointed to lead that select House committee. But what will this committee look like and how will it work? Joining us right now, senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, we keep hearing 20 people. We don't know if Democrats are going to be named. We know there's going to be more Republicans than Democrats if they do decide to participate. You know, uh, Brian, the Democrats have been talking about boycotting it. I think that would be a, a terrible mistake, not only for the, the right of the people to know what happened, but for the Democrats themselves. They will lose credibility. They will lose a forum. They will lose an opportunity to examine evidence and to challenge it if they have nothing to do with the committee. Uh, the Watergate committee, the Frank Church committee, those things were very, very, very contentious. They were political hot potatoes at the time. They had both parties on them and both brought about changes in the law for the better. But they both were on the same side. But weren't they trying to change the Intelligence Committee, unlike this time, where you could have someone obstructing the other? This might be one of the most frustrating it's things we've ever seen. To, it's hard for me to believe that uh, Democrats are not interested in the truth. If right. they're not interested in the truth and sure. it becomes apparent, they're going to suffer at the polls. Right. And, and everybody in the House of Representatives is up for re-election in six months. Right. Mr. King would agree with you there that this would be very bad on, on their behalf if they went and did not seek truth um, and politicize this event. What about the fact that some of these comments and, and notes were redacted? How are we going to get all the documents there. Trey Gowdy said you can't make decisions here if you don't have all the information. Who on this committee will demand and make certain that all of the information and documents are there? Well, a, a majority of the committee will issue subpoenas. They will not have to go back to the House of Representatives for authority to issue subpoenas, as is the case now, because the House will give the committee the authority. Once the subpoena is issued, let's say the subpoena of the President of the United States. They could. And say, where were you during those eight hours? I want to see your notebooks. Can they do that? Yes. Okay. And he's going to say, I'm not going to give you my notebooks. There's all kinds of classified stuff in there. Guess what? The notebooks go to a federal judge and a federal judge decides what stays classified and what goes to the committee. And what's interesting about uh, for the judge, the impartial person to decide whether or not it stays classified, is this administration classified a whole bunch of stuff just not to hurt feelings. That is not a ba an adequate lawful basis for classification. Fortunately, we have a case here. It's a very famous case called U.S. versus Nixon. Right. It's when the federal government took President Nixon to court to force him to cough up documents, mm -hmm. and the Supreme Court laid down guidelines. It, in order for it to stay classified, it has to be sensitive national security, military or diplomatic secrets. It can't be because somebody's feelings are going to be hurt. It can't be because Ben Rhodes sent a political signal right. to the president's campaign team and it didn't want to look like he was campaigning from the White House. I don't know if that happened, but it's a reasonable interpretation from his email. Elizabeth sure. redacts a lot of TV newsers to so my feelings. <laughs> okay. Every day when I check the internet. Elizabeth is not, <laughs> is not yet. I'm no, okay. and you know what? So He's a judge, so we got to listen to him. All right, Judge, thank you very much. All the best. Guys. Great analysis. Judge.